Come on, Cuddles. You can do this. Yes, it makes you look ridiculous. Yes, people will point and laugh. But this? This is the future. Apparently. <sighs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Doing it. Yep. Doing it now. Ugh. Tabby, I feel ridiculous. I hope you know. Dear Diary, what should I call you? I, I can't just call you Diary. I used to know a good listener named Ramon. Oh, so, Ramon, Tabby has suggested that I keep better records of my cases. Well, she actually said that real detectives don't just slap sticky notes on everything to remember critical details. I'm not sure I agree. I actually think the sticky yellow notes on everything system was a huge success. But she sometimes, maybe, has good ideas. So we're compromising. I'll be recording myself with this audio diary gadget thing from now on, and she won't mention the time she accidentally ate a sticky note that I put on her sandwich. So, <clears throat> Guess I'll make this into a record for anyone researching my biography when I'm world famous. Huh. Okay. Huh. Cuddles Nutterbutter P.I. is speaking. The... The Cuddlenator. Nutterbutter Investigations. If you want it solved, you know who to... Involved. Involved. <laughs> Cuddles? Sir? Professor Huggy's delivery is here. Uh, I'll, I'll be out in a second. Just um, grab it for me, would ya? Oh, I don't know how sensitive this thing is, but if you heard any of that, that's Tabby. She's my secretary. Kinda new, but determined to make a difference. We get along well. Oh, gosh. Sir, um, this is a lot more seedlings than I was expecting. The professor said it was only one or two. I think she meant to say one or two hundred. <laughs> yeah, she sure loves her plants. Any cat can solve crimes, but try finding someone who can do filing, answer the phone, and remember how you like your coffee. All right, sir, I've piled them up for now, but we really need to... Oh, no. Uh, sir, the pile fell over and went into the fan duct. It's blowing all over. There's just dirt and little baby plants everywhere. Yep, they'll do that to you. I often ask her for advice with cases. She might not be a detective, but she's got instincts as sharp as her claws. Teeny bit uncoordinated, though. Ew! A seedling went right into my ear. It's gonna grow inside my brain. <laughs> so much dirt. You, uh, doing all right in there, champ? I'm on top of it, sir. Just give me a second to clean up. Okay, all done. Did you show those seedlings who's boss, Tabster? <laughs> it was like a tornado in the nursery for a while, sir, but I sorted it out. Those cute little plant babies are all snuggled up in Professor Huggy's office now. I'll just water them every day and they'll be fine. <gasps> and I've got some more exciting news, sir. It's here. That's a special present I ordered to help you with your, uh... Little problem? What? Oh, no, Tabby, come on. I thought you were joking. It's not that big of a deal, really. It's barely a problem. It's more of a charming quirk. Well, your, um, uh, charming quirk made half the kids cry at last year's law enforcement holiday party uh, when you accidentally shredded their gifts. Gift-induced clawing isn't something to be worried about, sir. We can fix it. So you're going through with this, all right? Santa Claus?
Tabby, I promise it won't happen again. Very well then, sir. I'm gonna get back to cleaning up the rest of that mess outside. Oh, whiskers, there goes the phone. Hello? Oh, good evening, Chief. Yes, he just finished. Oh, um, yes, of course. Please hold. Sir, I've got the chief of police on the line. He says it's urgent. He always says that. It was even urgent when they needed an extra person for the interdepartmental volleyball game last week. I got sand in so many places. Ask him to phone back tomorrow, Tabby. I think it might be really serious this time, sir. He said... He said cucumber... Whoa, hey. No need to use that sort of language. <sighs> All right. I guess I'd better take this. Patching him through, sir. Nutta butter. Hello? Evening, Chief. How's things at Police HQ tonight? Bad. In fact, we got a real cucumber of a situation on our hands. Well, that's some pretty strong language, Chief. How can I help? I just got word of a situation downtown. There's been some sort of disturbance at the Nitty Kitty Club. It's not clear yet what happened exactly. I need you to get down there and investigate. Well, that name rings a bell. Isn't it owned by a mob boss or something? Not a mob boss. The mob boss. Bartholomew Montemu. Arguably the most powerful criminal in the city. It's his sleazy castle. And we suspect the place where his piles of dirty money get cleaned. Oh, sleazy money. My favorite. If I find any of those piles, can I keep them? <laughs> Always the comedian, Nutter Butter. You should be more worried about leaving with both legs unbroken. Oh. Any additional details on what actually happened? One of my guys caught wind of something over the tapped phone, but it was unclear. Whatever it was, it's got Mountain Mew in a tears. I got a call right after saying Bartholomew had booked a flight home from a holiday trip overseas. We've got a very small window of time before he lands and probably kicks us all out. My guys have bullied their way in for now. That's where you come in, Nutter Butter. I told my officers to play it very cool. I do not want to kick off a war with the Montemus. You're a neutral party. You can go places. Ask questions we can't. Got it? Yes, sir. If it's such a tense situation, why get involved at all? If someone's causing trouble for mobsters, I say, let them at it. Not a butter. Don't make me regret calling you second on this. Second? Who'd you call first? Wait, was it that hack Alfonso? You know he lost his own car keys for nine months once, right? Oh, he couldn't solve a case if the perp was tied to his collar. Pay attention, Nutter Butter. I called you because your success rate is actually pretty good. And I would deny that if asked by anyone else. You hear? <clears throat> uh, and because Alfonso is out of the country. I knew it! Focus! Whatever's going down at the Nitty Kitty, chances are it involves a rival mob. If we're really unlucky, it's the Catulets. That's why my people are staying a pause length on this. They'll help as much as they can, but you're mostly on your own. The repercussions of the police picking a side in what might be the opening salvo of a mob war well, I'd rather not think about it. It probably involves the clawing machines and barrels of acid. 
If it comes to that, I'd rather it be you than one of my guys. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. Oh, Chief, that's so... Uh, well, actually, that's pretty awful. Uh, did you... Did you say declawing machine? All facts over the documents. I need you on this, Nutter Butter. Don't let me down. Yeah, yeah, so... I mean, how many paws are they going through to need a, a machine to... Do they keep them? Is, is there a room somewhere just filled with claws? <sighs> Good night, Cuddles. Good night, Chief. Well? We've got ourselves a big one, Tabby. Safety of the city, lives in the balance sort of thing. Cancel my appointments and get yourself plenty of coffee. I have a feeling it's going to be a busy night. I'm going to head straight to the decline club to see what we've got. The, the what? Oh, uh, did I say decline club? Ha ha ha! That's certainly not preying on my mind or anything. <clears throat> uh, I meant the nitty kitty club. Well, we don't take midnight appointments, so nothing to cancel there. And I'm already ahead of you with the coffee. But did you say the Nitty Kitty Club? Where all the criminals hang out? Not all of them, Tabby. I'm sure some hang out in uh, dark alleyways and, you know, large empty warehouses down at the docks and such. It doesn't matter. This is really going to put me, put us on the map. Uh, we'll be big time in no time, as they say. That's very exciting, sir. But those mobsters, from what I've read in the news, they're real mean. Keep an eye on your back out there, all right? I don't want to see your face on the television tomorrow under the title Missing, Presumed, Chopped Up and Thrown into the River. You'd better be standing right here in front of me. Don't worry, Tabs. I'll be sure to come back in one piece. We both know this place wouldn't be the same without me. Well, true, but that's not quite what I meant. You've forgotten to pay me this week. Again. But I just realized you don't need all your limbs to sign a check. Ask the uh, nice scary mobsters to uh, just go for the legs first, will ya? Oh, whiskers. I'm, I'm really sorry, Tabster. I promise this is the last time. Uh, my new buddy here, uh, Ramon, <laughs> he's going to make sure I don't forget things anymore. Say hi, Ramon. Hi, Ramon. <laughs> oh, oh, you you, uh, you you named the recorder. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, as long as it works. Citizen, please do not approach any closer. This is a crime scene. That means you, Cuddles. Nope. Hey, Richard, what's the sit rep? Firstly, as I am on duty, I require you to drop the informalities. Please refer to me as Detective Krakowski. Secondly, sitrep is a law enforcement term, Cuddles. You are not authorized to employ it. The situation is that I've been assigned to guard the premises. Now please, step back, or I will be forced to make you step back. With force. Forcibly! I'm here on business, actually. The chief called me in himself. So if you'll just let me pass, I'll get out of your fur, and we can both get on with our jobs. Not so fast. Do you have a PI badge and a permit? Without those two things, you won't take a single step further. Badge? Permit? Are you being serious? Krakowski, you know who I am. I've been at like 10 crime scenes with you before. 
You hit me right in the face with a volleyball last week. Really hurt. Don't try and cozy up to me, Cuddles. Rules are rules. Nobody goes inside without a private investigator badge and an official permit, P54851. I am an officer of the law. If I do not follow the rules, then the very fabric of society would collapse. The entire city would be plunged into a nightmare of crime from which we might never escape. So, it's my duty to be the moral backbone of this city. Therefore, I'll ask you again. Do you have the correct items? Yes. I mean, no. Well, okay, so don't say no uh, immediately. No paperwork, no entry, Cuddles. <sighs> I left them at the office, all right? I was a bit distracted by something the chief said about declawing machines. But come on, don't be such a stick in the mud, Krakowski. We're friends, right? Good acquaintances, maybe? Distant colleagues? You see this uniform, Cuddles? This means that I'm on duty. I am not your familiar acquaintance when I'm on duty. I am the only bastion against the forces of darkness seeking to overwhelm this city with their... their darkness. And you see that lack of badge on you? That means you're currently just a civilian impeding the enforcement of justice. Move along, citizen. Goodbye. <laughs> you see what I'm dealing with, Ramon? Every conversation with Krakowski turns into a pointless game of cat and... Cat. Whiskers. There's no getting around him tonight. I'll have to head back to the office to get my P.I. badge and permit he was talking about. Cuddles! No furtive conversations at my crime scene! Move along! Back so soon? Did the villains hear you were on the case and, uh, instantly hand themselves in? Oh, haha, ha, very funny. You know what isn't funny? Officer Krakowski. Sourpuss wouldn't let me into the crime scene. He's just doing his job. You know how much he loves the pageantry of it all. Yeah, well, he could take a day off now and then. He's seen me countless times before. Huh, I shouldn't need to prove anything with a stupid badge. Mm-hmm. Hey, you forgot your private investigator badge again, didn't you? That's the third time this week. Not true. Only the second. Uh-huh. Uh, what about Monday? I had to go down to the police station myself to hand in those papers when they wouldn't let you file them due to a lack of identification. Uh, all right, three times. Four if you count the time you came back for it, then left again after forgetting why you were here. It's a very forgettable item, all right? I sure don't need this, and I don't yet know anyone else that does either. The nerve sent. Let me just move this piece of paper. It's empty. No point opening it. This could come in handy. Be strong, Cuddles. Billy the Brandy Decanter will still be here when you're done. Oh, my half-brother Matrick and I. He's a good wolf, if a little flighty. Loves dashing off to strange countries to go exploring. Doodling helps me concentrate when I've got a particularly tricky problem to solve. Hey, 
My detective badge is under this cushion. I like a tale of two kitties. Hey, so I found my badge. Somehow it had ended up under a cushion. No idea how it got there. Well, I'm no expert investigator like you, but I'm gonna hazard it was during the cat nap you took yesterday. <laughs> that was... I was... Uh, investigating. You snore a lot when you investigate then. But congrats all the same. You were a big cat and you found it all by yourself. All right, I get it. I'll be more careful where I put things. But now I have an important case to solve. The fate of the city is in my paws. Lives might be on the line. I don't suppose you know where I left my car keys. Mm-hmm. Second pocket on your left. You're the best, Tabby. See you later. You know, Kukowski also mentioned a permit. Uh, is that even a real thing, or is he just pulling my tail? Seriously? I collect all the official documents for every case. I even put them in a nice folder for you. All oh, right, the folder. Yes, of course. The folder. The foldery folder. <laughs> That's it. You don't know where it is anymore, do you? I know where it is. It's right there in my office by the... So, yeah. Do you have the permit for this particular case? I pretty much expected this, so I printed another copy. It's right here on my desk. Try not to lose it. Thanks, Tabby. Spend all day arguing fruitlessly with police cats, it seems. Find your badge and get... Ah. Thanks, Tabby. That takes care of the permit. I can't really use it on its own. I, I need to use it on something. Uh, what's the deal? Please refrain from. I have a in. Good. <laughs> it's just a. I found the things you wanted. It was really hard. I hope you're grateful. Yeah, these both seem to check out. Pleased to see you, P.I. Nutterbutter. I actually expected to see you a while ago. What with the severity of the situation? What? I was... I, I stood... Oh, Krakowski. I swear. The corpse is cooling, Cuddles. The crime scene awaits you. <sighs> At least I can get to work, now that you'll actually let me. The law thanks you. Oh, the law is a... A what, citizen? Uh, lovely. The law is a lovely. Delighted to hear it. Oh, and one more thing, Cuddles. I'll be keeping the permit. Don't want you... <laughs> persuading your way into any other places you shouldn't be now, do we? Ramon, I'm in. The club looks deserted, though. The only patrons in here tonight are wearing blue and carrying guns.
cancel my appointments and get yourself plenty of coffee. I have a feeling it's going to be a busy night.